I'm Yitri and I'm here to give you some tour tips. So my tour tip is you cannot go on tour if you like to eat all the time because you don't eat all the time on a tour. It's really hard to just eat when you're hungry. You cannot go on tour if you need a lot of hours of sleep because you don't, won't get it. It's constantly working. The best rest possible is close your eyes whenever you can. <laughs> you know, it's just really hard. Um, I, I, I sleep with, with, with air music in, oh, you know, that we, yeah, yeah that, that blocks out the noise. I mean, even whether we're on a coach, you know, and you're in a bunk, people are partying and yelling and making noise, you know, the bus makes noise. You can put, you know, nice music on and just go to sleep with it. Well, uh, I definitely need a pillow and a little blankie, blanket. Yeah. <laughs> I bring my own pillows and blankets too because whether we're in a hotel, I hate the hotel stuff, so I'm very fussy. So yeah, I'll even bring my own blankets into a hotel just because I, I'm almost home when, with my own bed. Another tip is, is that uh, you, you have to have a very good bladder if you're traveling in a vehicle like this. Even if you're traveling in a coach, which they call a luxury tour coach, those tour coaches, after one day or two days of 10 or 12 people on a bus like that, you don't even want to go in the toilet. So no. then you hold it anyway. Wait, the bladder is an issue, but what about the other one? That's an issue, for <laughs> sure. Because, you know, your whole schedule it just gets totally messed up. You really have to be be able to do it's it's not as easy but going but if you can it's it's amazing because going on stage just makes everything worthwhile. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ditto that one because you suffer all day long just for the, you know, for the hour and a half that you perform for people that makes it all worthwhile. And seeing people smiling faces and at the end of the night we have such great fun, we're talking about what a great night it was, how much fun people were having and, and the people you met and you make friends all the time and you see them again when you go on tour. And, and, yeah, and another tip, do not go on tour with people you don't like because it doesn't work out you sit you live with each other it becomes your family you know you smell each other you you, you you're with, with each other 24 7 so you really have to have a strong family i have advice for girls never go on on a tour coach with men because it's what not am fun I? <laughs> what am i what am i well <laughs> what am i who am i who am i well, uh, I shouldn't. I said maybe I'll leave that one alone. Okay. Uh, here's, here's a good advice. We have things called the three-week rule. That if you have somebody new in the band, whether it be that's a two-week rule. Yeah, we, we've changed it to two weeks. That if you, whether they're a musician or a, or a crew person, if they start freaking out within two weeks, you know not to bring them on the next tour because yeah, they can't handle it. Because after two weeks, people show their true, true selves. That their true colors come out after suffering for two weeks. And I should have been fired today because I was a little bit upset hey. with the situation too. But that's only because... Nah, stop it. No sleep. Don't, don't even do that. No sleep. That's it. It's all about not sleeping. <laughs>